In this video, we're going to take a look at our O-ring insertion and removal tool. And uh, we'll use it to uh, insert and to remove some O-rings from these spray chambers. You'll notice here that we've got a uh, O-ring here and an O-ring here. So the nebulizer fits into this opening and the O-rings are what is used to seal, to form a seal around the nebulizer so there's no air leaks. Uh, periodically, uh, these O-rings need to be removed and replaced. So we'll use this tool and it has two ends. Well, this end has a, a notch in it and this end has a hook in it. And we'll use this tool to uh, remove and insert the O-rings. And uh, before we do that, we'll take our O-rings here. We'll take two of them out of the bag. And we'll kind of zoom in here and show you how this action works. The first thing is going to be to remove the O-ring. And this tool makes it very easy. You can do it in two motions. Okay, so there's that one. And the second one, we can go in and do the same thing. All right, so we've got both O-rings. Normally, um, it would be difficult to get an O-ring into that position without having something like this. But in this case, we can take the O-ring, squeeze it a little bit, insert it into the spray chamber. Then we use the blunt end of the tool, push it down to the, to the, uh, the recessed area. It's uh, the, second, the second one. You can push it and you can use the notch tool to pull it towards you. Then I like to take the O-ring the tool and just kind of make sure that that Viton O-ring is seated properly. And then we take the second one. And we do the same thing. We use the blunt end of the tool to move it into position. And then we can go grab the other side of that O-ring and drag it back into position. And there we go.